It's 20 to 10, ABC Radio Hobart, ABC Northern Tasmania. Sitting on the fridge somewhere or next to where you keep the keys or maybe on the mantle over the fire, you will have your ballot paper in Kingborough. Um, and on that ballot paper will be seven names. That's people running and asking for your vote as mayor in the upcoming mayoral elections. We want to give you a chance to hear the voices of all seven candidates. So, so we're going to run through them over the next 20 minutes between now and news at 10 o'clock. Let's start through them. I'm not sure how we, whether we've gone alphabetically or just through the luck of the draw. Uh, Gideon Cordova is a Kingborough council and he's asking for your vote. Gideon, good morning to good you. Good morning. Hi, Leon. Why do you want to? You're on the council at the moment. That's right. You want to become mayor. Yeah, that's Why? right. Basically, we're getting record levels of development applications, planning approvals. I feel like Kingborough's at a crossroads, which is why we need to deal with the record pressure on infrastructure, on housing, health and transport. Importantly, I want to see us be a net zero emissions council. And I've got plans that are longer term, so to make sure that we get a street tree strategy, for example, so that we can be walking along beautiful tree-lined streets. If you look at Fitzroy Avenue, for example, down in Sandy Bay, the reason why that's so beautiful is because in the 1930s, people planned for it. And now they have all of those environmental benefits, health and wellbeing benefits as well, from having beautiful tree-lined streets. How long have you been on council for? About two years now. And you're a Greens candidate on yeah, council? Yeah, that's right. Um, and how would you approach the issue, uh, issues like, I don't know, let's pick something that might come up, like amalgamations in the weeks and months ahead? I think we need to make sure that as we develop and as we grow that we don't cut services. And I think there's been a real propensity towards an austerity bias. Actually, what we know is we need to invest to recover. Post-pandemic, we need to make sure that we're actually delivering the services that the people of Kingborough need. And so in order to achieve that, one of the things that I'm personally quite interested in is working with the state government, lobbying to get legislation in order to make, for example, fish fin farming, salmon farms, a rateable entity. Just because they're off the coast of Kingborough doesn't mean that they shouldn't pay their fair share, just like the other businesses that are in Kingborough, because we have to pay for their marine debris. We have to pay for their erosion that they're causing on our coastlines. So I think there are a number of ways that we can build our revenue as a council, and part of that is making sure that big developers and the fin fish industry pay their fair share. Appreciate you coming on this morning. Thank Thanks you for taking much. the time. That's Gideon Cordova. You heard his voice on council at the moment, been there for a couple of years, and asking for your vote. One of the experienced counter.